the other huge problem we are going to face is on uh, the relationship between uh, this Minister of Public Service and the Public Service Commission. Um, I am convinced from where I sit, I know as sure as devil's night, we are going back to Bomas. This constitution must be reviewed and I will personally be on the forefront of that effort to, refer, to review this constitution. One of my priorities is I do not see and I'm convinced I can say it in broad daylight and I'm saying it here, there is no value in the independence of the Public Service Commission. That is one independence. Alongside the National Lands Commission, alongside the Teacher Service Commission, uh, Honorable CS, you know, me and you are part of the uh, ancestors who made this constitution. And so you know, we were in Ibasha with you. And that time, everybody was hiding behind independence. I want to be independent, you know, because we came from a wounded history whereby everybody was trying to use constitution to sort out all the scores that, you know, they had from, 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 from the previous year, years. But it's about time now to, to face it and ask. Today, you only can, can say, I want someone hired for this position. Then you totally lose control. Yeah? I, I have not seen any uh, value or benefit that having an independent public service commission is having this country. And certainly, it's one of the issues that we are going to look at when it comes to you know, us reviewing our constitution because you, you are completely powerless. You hear as a ministry has sent something called an indent to public service commission, interviews are happening, you have no idea. Yet you are the one who is in charge of this function of uh, not just public service, but the new department, the new ministry, as aptly named human capital development. Let me assure you, as we speak, that human capital development is just a theory until we look at this issue about the Public Service Commission.